Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 20 minute lower body bar workout. All you will need is yourself and a chair or a steady surface that's around hip or waist height. So when you're ready, let's roll out our mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class facing our chair. So place both hands on your chair and walk your feet back, coming into a fold over position. With a soft bend in your knees, inhale, arch your spine, look up. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. Three more, inhale as you arch, exhale as you round. Two more, really connecting your movement with your breath. And last one, inhale and exhale. Find your neutral spine now, keeping both knees bent. Then straighten your left leg as you reach your left arm up to the sky. Then circle your arm back and down. Let's do that again. Reach your arm up, back and down. Two more big circles here, warming up your spine. Beautiful. Let's take it to the other side. Straighten your right leg, reach your right arm up, and then circle your arm back and down. Reach it up, back and down. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Return your hand to the chair and just walk your legs out. Alternate bending one knee at a time just to warm up your legs. Then carefully bend both knees, release your hands to the floor and roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky and exhale, release. Let's now come to the chair, holding on with our right hand. Step your feet out slightly wider than hip distance and turn your toes out. On your inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Three more like this, and then we'll add a side kick. Two, and last one. Here we go. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, kick your left leg to the side. Inhale, squat, and exhale, kick. Eight more like this. Make sure that you're keeping your right knee bent as you kick your left leg out to the side so that we're keeping our right glute activated. And when you kick your leg out to the side, make sure that it's in line with your hip. Two more. And on this last one, let's hold our leg lifted and take 10 circles. You circle and circle. Try to stand up nice and tall, lengthening through your spine. Three more, two, and one. Now let's reverse. You circle and circle. Eight more. Seven, keep bending into your right knee. Four more, three, two, and one. Hopefully your glutes are nice and warm. Let's cross our left leg behind our right now for our curtsy position. Inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, press up. Keep your spine nice and straight. So you're really focusing on lowering down and up like an elevator, using the strength of your leg muscles here. Two more. And last one, let's hold at the bottom and take little pulses down and down. Really bend into your knees as you lengthen through your spine. Three more, two and one. Now for my favorite, on your exhale, shift your weight forward, kick your leg back, then inhale, return to your curtsy. So exhale, kick, inhale, curtsy. Eight more. I know I'm a broken record, but make sure that your right knee stays bent. That way we are really working our right glute. As you kick your left leg back, focus on squeezing through the base of your left glute. Two more. And last one, let's hold our leg back and take little pulses. You lift and lift. Keep drawing your navel in. Just six more. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg lifted, lift your chest, bend your knee, and then extend your leg forward. Then re-bend your knee and extend your leg back. So develop your leg forward as you stand up tall and then extend your leg back as you bend into your right knee and lean forward. Just breathing naturally here, really focusing on your control. When you extend the leg forward, make sure that your leg is still turned out so your inner thigh is pointed up towards the sky. Let's do two more, you can do it. And last one. Let's hold our leg forward and lift the leg 10 times. You lift and lift. Can you stand up a little bit taller? Six more, five, little higher, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Let's step our left foot out and come into a wide second position. On your inhale, plie down, exhale, press up. Inhale, plie, exhale, press up. Eight more. Make sure that your feet are nice and wide and that your toes are turned out and that your knees are stacked over your ankles as you bend into your plie. Three more. Inhale, plie, exhale, press up. Two. And on this last one, let's hold low in our plie and take little pulses down and down. Eight more. Seven, keep your spine straight. Four more. Three, two, and one. From here, lift your left heel, pivot towards your chair for a lunge, and then pivot back open to your wide second plie. Keep going. Pivoting into your lunge, and then pivoting open into your plie. Make sure that when you come into your lunge that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Only a few more to go. Really using your legs here. And last one. Let's hold in our lunge, reach your arms up to the sky and you know the drill, pulse down and down. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return your hands to the chair now, scoot that right foot back a bit and then hinge forward from your hips, drawing your navel in. Bend your left knee and flex your foot. On your exhale, press your foot back, Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower. Eight more. So make sure that your right knee is staying nice and bent and that you're really drawing your navel in and slightly tucking your hips under as you press your left leg back. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold your leg back and take little pulses. You lift and lift, really drive through that left heel. Four more, three, two, and one. Hold the press, and then from here, squeeze your knee into the midline, and then release. So you squeeze in, and release. Eight more. Really focus on squeezing your glutes together as you draw your left knee into the midline. This is a bit of a funky exercise, but it really gets into the glutes. Let's do two more. And last one. Hold the squeeze, little combo. Lift your right heel, extend your left leg, bend, and then lower your heel. So you lift, extend, bend, and lower. Eight more. As you tire in this position, I really want you to focus on your posture. So keep drawing your navel in, making sure that your spine is nice and straight. You're doing really well. Keep that left heel pressing up to the sky. Two more. And on this last one, hold your heel lifted, extend your left leg and point your toe. 
Let's pulse the leg up and up. Eight more. Can you bend into your right knee a little bit more? Five, four, three, two, and a one. Hold the leg lifted, pulse your right leg down and down. Just eight more. Seven, keep lifting your left leg. Five, four, you got it, little lower. Two, and one. Woo, hopefully you felt that in your right glute. So let's stretch it out, come to your chair. Cross your right foot on top of your left thigh and bend your knees, sitting nice and low so that you feel a beautiful stretch for your right glute. Well done, everyone. Okay, from here, you know the drill. Let's take the chair over to the other side and let's repeat that all again with the other leg. So come to your squat position and this time let's go straight to our squats and side kick. Here we go. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, kick your right leg to the side. Inhale, squat. Exhale, kick. Make sure that your left knee is nice and bent as you come up for that kick so that we're working into our left glute this time. Inhale, squat. Exhale, kick. Just two more. And on this last one, hold your leg lifted and take those circles for 10 and nine, eight. Really focus on standing up nice and tall. Four more, three, two, and one. Let's reverse for 10, nine. Really lengthen through your left leg, pointing through your toes. Three more, two, and one. Excellent job. Cross your right foot behind your left and let's get ready for our curtsies. Inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, press up. Keeping your spine nice and straight. We're just bending into our knees here. Really think of zipping your thighs together as you press out of your curtsy, activating those inner thighs as well as your glutes. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold the low in your curtsy and pulse it out for 10 and nine, eight. Keep your shoulders down and back, your heart nice and open. Three more, two, and one. Now my favorite. Exhale, shift your weight forward, kick your back leg. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, kick. Inhale, curtsy. Keeping your left knee bent the whole entire time, really strengthening that left glute. As you shift your weight forward and kick your leg back, Focus on finding length through your spine, all the way from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold your leg lifted and pulse it out for 10 and nine. Really reach through those toes. Seven, six, squeeze your right glute. Four, three, two, and a one, hold your leg lifted, then develop your leg forward as you stand up tall, and then extend your leg back as you hinge forward. So develop forward, stand up tall, and then extend your leg back. You've got it. Really try to turn that knee out as wide as you can to the side as you bring it forward and back. That way you're working a little bit more of your inner thighs as well as that right glute. Only a few more to go, you can do it. And last one. Let's hold our leg extended forward and pulse it up. You lift and lift. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Step your right foot out to the side, coming into our wide second position. Inhale, plie, exhale, press up. Inhale, plie, exhale, press. Eight more. 
Make sure your knees are tracking over your toes and that you're keeping your spine straight with your shoulders stacked over your hips. Two more. And on the last one, let's hold low and pulse it out for 10 and nine. Can you pulse a little bit lower? Five more, four, three, two, and one. Lift your right heel, pivot to your chair for your lunge, and then pivot open to your plie. So you pivot into your lunge, and then pivot into your plie. Eight more like this. As you bend into your lunge, make sure that your left knee is in line with your left ankle. Keep breathing, you're doing really well. If you're sweating like crazy at this point, don't worry, I am sweating with you. Only two more to go. And on this last one, let's hold in our lunge, straighten your spine and reach your arms up. 10 pulses, down and down. Really lengthen through your spine, reach up through your fingertips. Five more, four, three, two, and a one. Take your hands to the chair, scoot your left foot back, bend your right knee and flex your foot. Slightly hinge forward from your hips and draw your navel in. Exhale, press your leg back, inhale, lower. Exhale, press, inhale, lower. Eight more. So make sure that you're keeping your left knee nice and bent and that you're slightly tucking your hips under so that when you press your right leg back, you're finding more of a squeeze through the base of your right glute. Just two more. And last one, hold the press and take little pulses for 10 and nine. Really squeeze your right glute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one, hold the press, squeeze your leg in and release. Squeeze in and release. So in this move, think of giving your glutes a nice big hug. So you're really squeezing your glutes together. You're doing really well. Two more and last one. Now for our combo, lift your left heel, extend your leg, bend and then lower your heel. So you lift, extend, bend and lower. Let's do eight more. As much as you want to straighten your left leg, I really want you to focus on keeping it nice and bent. We are almost at the finish line. You are so strong. Okay, two more. Lift your heel, extend, bend, and lower. Last one. Good job. Let's hold our heel lifted, extend your right leg and point your toe. Pulse your leg up and up. Eight more. Seven. Bend into your left knee a little bit more. Four more. Three, two, and one. Final move. Pulse down and down. You've got it. Eight more. This is it. Seven. Can you lift your right leg a little bit higher? Four more, a little lower, three, two, and one. Excellent job, well done. Okay, let's stretch that left glute out. So cross your left foot over your right thigh and bend into your knees, hinging forward so that you feel a nice stretch for your left glute. I don't know about you, but I was sweating and in a lot of pain <laughs> at this point. Okay, move the chair just to the side so you've got a little bit more room. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hinge forward. Bend your knees and just take a moment to hang over your legs. Then from here, step your left foot back and lower your left knee. Press your hands into the top of your thigh and lift your chest as you sink your hips low, feeling a beautiful stretch. Then release your hands to the floor, shift your hips back, flexing your right foot 
and fold over your right leg if that feels good for you. Then carefully re-bend your right knee, tuck your back toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Let's switch sides, step your left foot forward, lower your back knee and lift your chest up as you sink your hips down and forward. Taking nice deep breaths here, enjoying this stretch. Then lower your hands to the floor, shift your hips back and flex your left foot. Fold over your leg if that feels good for you. Feeling a beautiful stretch through the back of your left leg. Then carefully re-bend your front knee and press back to downward facing dog. Let's lower our knees to the floor now and come into a seated position. Bring the soles of your feet together with your knees apart. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Feeling a beautiful release for your glutes and for your hip flexors. Then carefully lift your chest and extend your left leg out to the side. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Beautiful. Return through center and let's switch sides. Bend your left knee, extend your right leg. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right. Then carefully return through center and find a comfortable cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's lower body bar workout. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have the most beautiful day.